Alright, hey guys, so I've been posting lately, I've just been chilling, been uh, working, whatnot, all them stuff, but today I was like, you know what, I feel bad, I'm just making Zach upload all these videos and I ain't doing shit. So, breathers, I'm going to be showing you a bit of COD, a bit of COD gameplay, sorry if I'm looking there, I'm trying to look at myself in my camera, when the camera's there, I'll try and get used to looking there, anyway. So, uh, as you see, uh, this is, I have a lot of classes, and um, personally, I've been trying to get the HDR up, and I'm trying to show you guys how to get the best HDR set up, accurate, but you got to be patient, and you got to be, just, just gotta, as long as you're patient, and you're able to sit and wait, it's, this HDR is good, so I'll show you. Oh, I'll show you what I got on it. This one, because I have the limited classes I have with this HDR, I got the muzzle brake on it. Keeps it accurate, so you always see your shots. I got the 26.9 HDR Pro Barrel. This helps you with the damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. And between all of them, it provides you the most. As you can see, if you go to the 26.0 bull barrel and the 17.2 bull barrel, it actually uh, brings your st bring the stats of the gun down. Where if you have the 26.9, it actually increases by the amount and the mobility for how fast you can move with the gun. It's only down just a bit, and the ADS is not that bad with this gun. If you like to be, you like to be patient and sit and steady. Now, I don't use a laser. I don't use extra ammo. I don't use no under barrel. I like to use the FMJ just to hit through the walls and whatnot. It's it's kind of clutch and like it's not that bad. So when I play Search and Destroy, sometimes a lot of people like to say because uh, Search and Destroy is toxic. A lot of people say um uh the uh, you, you're a bitch because you use the optic thermal scope as mine because it if, if if a person's not running cold blooded, which I'll show you. So cold blooded is undetectable AI target system and thermal optics, which I have. On this is a thermal optic. If a lot of people don't run uh, cold blooded, so well, I put on the thermal sniper scope and I just I just smack people with this um, sniper and search and destroy. Uh, it's really good in Piccadilly because it's very long distance. Uh, yeah. I like it in Piccadilly a lot. I'm trying to think of other maps, but I can't at the moment. But anyway, so the F Tech Hunter Scout helps with the aiming stability, as you can see up there. Uh, increases the accuracy and the control. Uh, I, I'm not trying to quick scope too much with this. I like to sit around um, because if you put on the Stalker Scout or the Nomad Scout stock, um, it actually brings it down and increases the mobility, but you're here to sit and be patient, you know. The F Tac Champion, uh, I don't got it, but uh, it increases. It's a bit better than the Hunter Scout, but the F Tac uh, Champion brings down the mobility just a bit. That's why I like to stick with this. I mean, then again, I've unlocked all the things, um, all the stuff for it, which I'll be trying to do today. Um, don't got all the skins, but this is the sniper that I'll be running with and be playing with mainly today. I'm just be showing you a bunch of clips of my gameplay. Uh, and let's, I'm running it with the, the Growl 5.56 this is also a good uh, assault rifle to use and this is like no recoil like it has some recoil but like you'll, you can be so steady with this and you'll laser people you go to the no stock keep the gun nice and fast aim down sights a lot more faster it says oh um, it has the cons of the aim stability and the recoil control, but that ain't really do none. Uh, I did run FMJ with this, but that took it off because when you apply everything else that I have on here, it's a laser and it it merks people, and you don't really have to need, you don't really have to have the need to use FMJ. So I don't put it on. I use the uh, Chrono Sniper Elite for the uh, grip. This is increases the um, the aim down spot side speed. But if you have it too fast, the recoil and accuracy is just not there, and you're not going to hit nothing. So, uh, yeah, that's why I have it on the Chrono Sniper Elite Regroup. Don't really, I haven't tested it with this. I didn't really, 
I don't think I find it really good. I may have used it once or twice, but I find that this fits perfect inside it. This is good, but you have to the XRK void too. You just have to really like control that that right stick when you're when you're aiming at someone. Um, I did try a 60 round mag, so I don't because you shred through the ammo with this gun, uh, just like the M13. So I did try the 16 round mags, but if you just play tactically, uh, you, you don't need any extra ammo, you can stick with the casual 30. I used the Ranger 4 grip, uh, reasons why, a lot of people like to use the um, Commander 4 grip, this is good, but as you can see, the Ranger 4 grip has more than the uh, Commander 4 grip, the Commander 4 grip, like, it's just a little bit more, but it has a little bit higher mobility. But it's just, it's nothing. So, but yeah, I like to prefer the Ranger Form Grip. Now, always use this Archangel, um, the Tempest Archangel, 26.4 inch. Now, it says that it brings down your mobility a lot. But it's actually good if you have it on with everything else and you have this on. Accuracy is good, the range goes longer, and the control is a lot more stronger. Who cares about the mobility if you have this on? I was kind of um, annoyed by it when I first started using it. I'm like, oh, this is a waste. I don't like it. So I started using it back to the old, just without it. So I just took it off. Um, I just took it off and I was like, no, I don't like it. And I tried testing out everything else. Didn't really like it all too much. And then I started using this again. I'm like, it's not that bad. Once you start unlocking everything else, it's pretty good. Always use monolithic suppressor. If you play COD Modern Warfare, you know to always use the monolithic suppressor. Who cares about the aim downside speed or the aim walking steadiness? That's the con. Pardon me. Uh, the pro is sound suppression and damage range, and like that's such a pro. It brings down a bit of your control, a bit of your mobility, but in the end, it's worth it. No enemies can hear you, and you're really agile with it. Uh, yeah, that's why I like to run. This is actually one of my Warzone uh, loadouts I've been testing out, so it's got a hard beat on it and some T4. I run scav because you need the ammo on this, it shreds through like a M13 and shrapnel, just get the extra C4. Well, because I'm just gonna be playing TDM, I'm just gonna use you guys chuck on stim with some flashes or stuns. I like to be aggressive, so I'm gonna chuck on stim because I get lit up, then I need to heal myself, or else I die. But, um, yeah, let's get straight into it. But you can't scope with this, you have to be nice and gentle. And delicate. <sighs> he was just waiting for me. What are the teams? It's half the guys from the game before are on the other team. Thank you. Oh, you can't. Why are you camping back there? We've got control. Well, that was a bad, a bad turn. We're losing control. This guy. Enemy at the smoke stack. We pulled ahead. Watch where you shoot. Friendly UAV online. Oh, minecart. I'm coming. Not just yet. No. UAV ready for the 
Use a UAV. Good copy. UAV beginning flyover. Right behind you. Wait for some heads to turn. Come on. There's bound to be people coming this way. UAV is out of fuel. Returning to resupply. Enemies over there! Oh, that flash set me back. Oh, I didn't even know there were enemy or teammates. Okay, I need to go back. Get back and get some cover. Oh, that happened to land right with me. That was that was a good name, guys. We get props to the man. Might have to go around and flank through the side. Halfway there, keep fighting. Boiler room. I just ran past. Not going to engage with the boiler room. Peek me. I dare you. Reloading. Not peeking, gonna reload. I'm hit. Changing max. <laughs> Sending charge. Ooh, I killed him with my thing, but then Reloading. I got killed by the other guy. Enemy killed him with my C4. Gun. That was a good, good way to spawn flip him. Friendly I should have sniped him. Oh, the moment I don't shoot, he comes in. What's the rest reloading? Oh, thought I had that. Enemy precision airstrike inbound. Oh no! What do you have? Some cover. Oh my god, sprint. Oh, good eye, Jack. Again. He's good. He's good. I just I set myself up for that. The guy was actually just waiting there and looking at at that container. Ah, enemy, oh, enemy here. Interesting. No, sir. You cannot take my life. Okay, this is more of a grow gameplay. I'm really even using my HDR, and when I am, it's pretty shit, pretty shit clips. Yeah, got him. Baby, won't you come my way so I can kill you in the face? First off, I'm stop by saying this. Oh no, I knew it. UAV is out of fuel. Returning to resupply.
Oh, nice, dude. Enemy in the woods. Oh, not nice. Gotcha, Jack. Oh, let's got that, dude. I had 20. I had 20 that game. That's it. Breathers. Uh, didn't really get up this gun. I didn't really get up my growl either. But in that last game, I did have 20 and 9, which was freaking good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Peace.